you're watching this, I'm dead.
you'll be dead before they get you. Your precious family. I will slaughter them one by one. And when they have drawn their last breaths, I will burn the city to the ground. You won't get a chance. Gotham is their city now. If you're watching this, I'm dead. This is a code black. This message was automatically triggered when I destroyed the cave and everything it contained. I know what's coming won't be easy. from Gotham's celebrity pages. A handsome, charming billionaire. And he was that. But he was more than a headline. He was my nephew. He was a friend, a mentor, and a benefactor to those of us gathered here today. And to those of you who didn't know him as we did, I want to tell you this. Bruce was Gotham. He loved this city more than he loved anything. He was a protector to this city. He worked tirelessly behind the scenes to bring justice 
and equality. There's nothing he wouldn't do. No project he wouldn't champion if he thought Gotham would benefit. And I think in remembering that, we remember Bruce as he truly was. had my back when I needed you. I know you'll keep Gotham safe. Good luck. And goodbye. How's Alfred? What you'd expect. Took him three years to agree to a vacation and Bruce turned up dead. He asked for some time. He knows none of us were there either, right? What about you? You let Jacob Kane give the eulogy. He offered. He thought it'd be easier on us if he was the one to do it. He's Bruce's uncle. Hell of a speech. All that talk about a protector who works behind the scenes. If he only knew. Catherine wouldn't be there if she suspected. I can't see the anti-vigilante police commissioner presiding at Batman's funeral. There's something else she doesn't know. She has the body of Batman's killer in her morgue. Rachel Ghoul is listed as a John Doe, slated for cremation. And what if the League of Shadows finds him? If they drop their dear leader in a Lazarus pit, he won't be so dead anymore. You want to break into the GCPD headquarters for a what if? Be my guest. I decrypted the case Batman sent with his message. We should focus on that. I looked it over, but did I get everything? It doesn't look complete. I think Raish interrupted him while he was writing. He says this has implications that could shake Gotham to its core. Ominous, but not exactly helpful. I saw a few places we should poke around. Construction sites, a quarry. He also mentioned a Dr. Langstrom. Anyone know him? He's a zoologist at Gotham University. Not sure what his connection is, though. Let's divide up the work. We can meet at the Belfry when we're done. Get it up and running. Arrived at Gotham U. What do we know so far about this professor? Kirk Langstrom. Batman attached a half-finished file to his code black. Langstrom must have been mixed up in something bad. Then I'll pick up where Batman left off.
positive ID on this faculty dude, Kirk Langstrom. Right. I'll call it in on the way to the morgue. Langstrom's dead. Do we know where his office is? Langstrom's dead? Damn it. The note said his office is in Molten Hall, the third floor. Got it. Third floor balconies open. Don't mind if I do. Body cam recording. Here's his office. Hmm, hardly any police work here. Langstrom must have been killed somewhere else. Those marks look fresh. You find anything, Batgirl? So far, nothing here. Our professor is very dead. I'll let you know when I find the crime scene. Good. Well, not good exactly, but at least a lead. The real challenge will be getting out of here without the cops finding me. Good luck. That's a lot of damage. This must be where Langstrom died. The cops cleared out of here way too fast. Langstrom must have been working when he was attacked. Significant blood loss here. Evidence of a struggle, then the attacker pinned him to the wall. They were merciless. Langstrom was dying, but he tried to get to that cabinet instead of the door. What was so important? Hidden door. What secrets were you keeping, Dr. Langstrom? Perfect. Time to see what Langstrom was so desperate to hide. Langstrom, what on earth were you up to? Batman's dead professor had some serious skeletons in his closet. Langstrom's workstation. I should take a closer look. Hmm. 
Well, hello there. A hard drive. I need to get this back to Belfry. Then I can figure out your secrets, Langstrom. Hey, on my way back. The cops overlooked a ton of evidence. Weird marks on the walls, and apparently Langstrom had a secret lab. Hopefully this hard drive I found will have more answers. Sounds good. See you back here soon. Great. Gotham needs to see that someone still cares. I'll take care of this. I can't focus on George in this place with all that racket! Turn off the damn fire! I need to handle these guys before this gets any worse. Stay out of sight. Are the fumes getting to you, buddy? Get some rest. What are they even doing here?
bet they miss you at Blackgate. to kicking back and decrypting this hard drive. Be there soon.
Good job finding that drive in Langstrom's lab. Do we have any idea of what killed Langstrom yet? Hard to say much until these computers are up and running. Once we can get at the data, we can figure out what our next move is. I'm going out. I'm not gonna sit and wait for... whatever this shit is. We're waiting for intel, Jason. Once we have it, then we'll go. <sighs> move. I'm gonna solve this case my way. He wanted us to work this together. Whatever. That's making this harder than it has to be, kid. I guess, since we're waiting anyway, we might as well take another look at what Bruce had on Langstrom. Crap. That must have been the secondary breaker. The primary went out months ago. I thought the backup would hold. I got it. No need. I've put in a small fix that should hold for a while. Wasn't sure you were coming, Alfred. I'll always be here when you need me, Master Richard. When any of you need me. I'm glad you're here. As am I, Master Tim. This place does need work. Damn it. We've got activity all over the city. Sweet. Looks like my plan wins. Hold up. We still need the intel. And Alfred can't exactly set this place up alone. Indeed, Miss Gordon. I have a list of supplies we'll need. I could do it on my own, but... It would be faster if I had help. You can count on us, Alfred. We'll divvy it up. Let's finish what Bruce started. 